is coming. What? What's coming? What happened? <laughs> Just gonna leave Miyako behind. It's basically not I think that's it right there. It's the only one that's standing. There's a lighter on the ground. And the main reason why I checked the um, the item menu is that we're apparently supposed to have a sake bottle for mission objective two for this level that you're supposed to find in the abandoned house, but the FAQ I've been looking at didn't made no mention of that until I was looking ahead for this level. Okay. This is gonna be kind of hard. Because we have to, because they're strong and his weapon isn't as good as the uh, hammer. I remember having quite a bit of difficulty with this level. And now I know why. It's just because the weapon you have is not very strong. And... The, the Inibito, they, they're very, they're a lot stronger than you. Zena's lying on the shelf, the Custodian Choir. There's some kind of document lying on the ground. Naoko Mihama's resume. Alright. So now that we got those, we need to distract the Inubito. That's the one that's guarding him. Guarding the brain. So let's 
let Kyoya relax a bit. There you go, he's back to full stamina. So yeah, as I was mentioning earlier, because we don't have the sake bottle, which is, a, which we do need. It was in the abandoned house, but the guide I'm following never mentioned where to pick that up. At any point, it just, it, the first mention it ever gets is during the mission objective that you're supposed to have it ready for. Let's take a look at the archive. All right. And there's the Boda Utsubo, uh, the Cost Story Inquirer, volume 66, July 24th, 2000, year 2000. Uh, the Bizarre and Macabre XXX Village Massacre. Find out what really happened during the wee hours of May 21st, 1938, when 33 innocent villagers were brutally murdered in the largest killing spree on record. How did one man wipe out an entire village overnight? What drove him to kill? This in-depth investigation reveals all. And we know a similar massacre had happened in the 70s in Hanuda. So this is probably a different village. At least I don't see a photo that looks like... At least I think so, I'm not sure. <laughs> and what was the other one? Here it is. Profile, Naoko Mihama. Born August 23rd, 1976 in Tokyo. Height is 5 feet 2 inches. Bust is 32 inches. Waist 22 inches. Hips 33 inches. Interest is Mongolian cuisine. Skills playing the bagpipes. Filmography, TV series Eat Your Heart Out. Hasta la Vista Mariko. Tough Copy. Murder She Cooked. Commercials and Gumshoe Ramen Noodles. Video releases were Party Pandemonium, Hot Pot Ninja Master, The Lioness, Hitman, uh, and for Cable, uh, Occult Japan, which is what she came to. So as you can see here, except for the commercials, she hasn't really been working a lot recently. Okay. Gasoline is dripping from the chassis. We're setting Shido's car on fire. All right, and we gotta get to. Okay, there's the Shibita. I was guarding it. And there's the brain. Here's the driver's license that somebody has dropped. Shiro Miyata's driver's license. Let's take a look at it. And we'll chase after the brain here in a moment. Non-commercial driver's license. Uh, Shiro Miyata, born June 13th, 1976. 4392 Hirasakai, Hanada, Misumi District, Prefecture Unknown. Uh, issued June 9th, 2002. Valid until June 13th, 2007. What was the... June 30th, 1976. Huh. Well, that was the date that was taken, that photo was taken. So it could very well have been Shiro. I think it is. Um, these twins are supposed to be Shiro and K. They're cute little chubby babies, aren't they? Oh, 
all we can really do is try to cut off the Shibuto. Miyako, that's nice. Didn't go where I wanted him to. That's great. He's back over there, okay. Neem is like the only brain Shibito that has no fear. All the other should be brain Shibito have fear. That was great. That was pretty good. Good job. I didn't die too often. The entire village has been dragged into this other dimension. And us along with it. This is not reality, nor is it the underworld. It's somewhere in between. What's wrong? What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go! What are you complaining about? You don't like this village anyway. <laughs> People here are weird, but anybody would be living in a place like this. Come on, let's get out of here, and you won't have to see your strange brother again. You? I have a name. Kiyoya. <laughs> Thanks, Kiyoya. I just came to get you back. Good, she's coming. Yes. 
storage, which is this. There's the door. It is locked. That's what the rusty key is for. There it is. All right, so this time we gotta get the 38 caliber revolver. We need the sake bottle for this, and we'll see why. Wait, it's no use. You can't escape. We have to find the leader and fight him. The leader. All right, so make a trap for Officer Ishida. We're gonna be using him again. I'm gonna be running into him again. He's a little different this time now, though. As you can see, there is something between the floorboards. We'll use the poker to get it out. There's a panel that controls the flow of electricity. Hold the lever down. The electricity is off now. Ah! Oh no! Yeah, 
yes, that is the police officer that we were being chased by. too as well. Break the bottle. Ah. As you remember from one of the archive items, the officer loves soccer. And the Shibito, they do have some memories of their human selves. So, wouldn't that mean that he remembers his love for soccer? Execute ourselves to get the gun. All right. Where is it? There it is. Got it. Mission two accomplished. <laughs> Why are you running away? Someone wonderful is waiting for you. <laughs> okay, so we have to find the beaded doll. As you may remember, Miyako dropped something in that storeroom, and that's where it is.
quietly. your drawings. So we now have the key to the storeroom. Should have paid attention to what the others are doing. At least it starts me back here, that's good. Go draw in your room. <sighs> There's a song called Tomoko. I know this because when I used to go to the room, there was this one guy who always would play that song. <laughs> Sorry if you can't hear me. I'm not. I'm talking a little quieter than I really ought to. 
Mom's leaving the kitchen. Dad's done in the bathroom. Well, he's done relieving himself. Okay, we can leave now. The upstairs is clear. This to Miyako. Miyako. So now Miyako knows, um, so now Harumi knows Miyako is also here. Her special friend. The doll is made in the image of a girl with black hair. So something I think Harumi made for Miyako. Please do not come in here. It's always so awful. <sighs> like you feel like they just know you're there. Even though there should be absolutely no reason why they would know. Wait for Tomoko to go to her room. <sighs> Those hands look so old. Thank you. 
it, it, this side jacking is quite an interesting mechanic. Just how it can actually follow the models of the game. What they see is, and how we can access that. It's a very unique mechanic to this series. Alright. There we can go. It's okay. Oh, how do you you're so brave? You don't really need a flashlight. So Miyako had a vision of those eating her. And then she stares at one of them. We got a new archive item book of deliverance, Fruit of Vieta. Okay, so let's take a look at the new archive item we got. All right, a set of scriptures needed to, to Hanada. This volume describes the fruit of Vieda, which is said to grant eternal life. Fruit of Vieda, in paradise grow two holy trees, of which the Lord doth say, Do not eat the fruit they bear, as I have decreed it forbidden. Okay, so basically very similar to the tree in uh, the Garden of Eden. However, there are mentioned two trees um, that have the fruit instead of just the one tree. So yeah, even though this is a very Japanese, like the cult and Hanada is its own thing, it's, you know, part of Japan, there does seem to be some Christian Christianity in it as well. Or uh, Ju Judeo-Christian, to be more specific. But to be more accurate, I guess. <laughs> all right, well, so that was about four levels, wow. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. I didn't die very often, about three times maybe total. Four times, actually. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we almost got all of the archive items. When we get all of them, uh, we get a uh, hidden cutscene. And we're almost done with this game. I'm so happy to be nearly finished. Um, Alright, well, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you with more Siren.